Hello, this is Elisa Kohler. Let's learn what scale degree names are and how they function. As you can see on the screen here, we have the tonic, the supertonic, the mediant, the subdominant, the dominant, the submediant, the leading tone, and then finally we go back to the tonic. So this may seem like a lot of silly terminology, but they really do describe these terms, how the notes function in melodies as well as the scale. Let's just listen to it. So what that really does is explain the functional structure of a, of a scale. The first and the last note, the octave, are of course the tonic. That comes from the word tone, which is the tone that sets the whole major scale pattern in motion. As you may have seen in the, in the previous movie about major scales, the whole structure of it is based on the whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step pattern between the eight notes. And so that's where these names come from. The dominant dominates the harmony as, as we'll see later on when we get into chords. But for now, just remember that tonic and dominant rule the major scale. And as a matter of fact, all of the other names of the notes react to the tonic and the dominant. Look here. The second one is the supertonic because it's super, meaning above the tonic. And on the other end of the scale, the leading tone leads you home to the tonic. And you're going to hear that if I play the scale and stop it on seven. You want to hear the tonic? Okay, we have to go back to the beginning, but you'll see how that leads you home to the tonic. So it's very important that we have that there. And then the subdominant gets its name because it's below sub the dominant. And in the middle of the tonic and the dominant, we have the mediant. So it's mediating between the tonic and the dominant. And on the other half of the scale, the submediant number six gets its, gets its name because it's not as crucial as the mediant. And we'll see how more of this, more of this works when we get into harmony. But just remember, one is the tonic. Eight is the same as one. So when we talk structurally, we're just going to say one instead of eight when we get to the end of the scale the dominant is five and then then the subdominant is four so with all of these different functions for the scale degree names when we get into harmony and we harmonize the major scale you'll see we use the same names to describe the chords that fall on on these notes so get ahead of the game make sure that you learn them now that's all see you later bye bye